happening folks and welcome back to my pre-E3 extravaganza. If you're only just tuning in right now, you can watch my last video where I talk about Microsoft and the Xbox Scorpio's presentation right here. But I'm not going to waste any time. Let's jump right into what we know about the conferences. Not a lot. Not a whole lot. Sony have kind of been really tight-lipped this entire time. They, in my opinion, they blew their load in PSX and last E3. They had some really good conferences and I'm kind of worried that they're not going to have much to show, but who knows, let's, let's just move on, shall we? Seriously though, aside from announcing the date, which is Monday the 12th of June, or Tuesday the 13th depending on where you live, we know nothing. So that brings me to the things we expect. This is a much longer list than Microsoft's, and it mostly revolves around games that have already been announced. God of War. I think this is a safe bet. I mean, we've seen in-game footage at this point. Spider-Man. It's been teased so many times, and with Spider-Man Homecoming releasing in July, it's almost a fucking given it'll be shown off here, maybe even with an immediate release date, like a month away. Detroit Become Human. Cage's new game will get a release date, and maybe a pre-order bonus. Fuck knows, it'll probably have VR capability. Destiny 2 will have a big blowout during Sony's conference. I mean of course it will. It'll be a timed PS4 exclusive, or it'll have exclusive raids or some shit on PS4, just like the last one. PSVR is going to get a big exclusive. I've no idea what, but it'd better be mind blowing or it'll upset a lot of folk. Finally, the Dream Team. Or you know, games that'll have grown men openly weeping for joy. The Last of Us 2 gameplay and release date. I'm doubting this'll happen, but it'd be nice. PSVR price cut. Cut $100 off the price tag and watch it sell out all over again. Famito Ueda, hope I pronounced that right, announces a brand new game. I know some people didn't like The Last Guardian, but I loved that game, and I just want to play more from that universe. I sure it's going to take another decade to release, but knowing it was in the works, that would be amazing! Final Fantasy VII HD Remake gets an immediate post E3 release. It'll never happen, but fuck me if people wouldn't break the PSN immediately upon hearing that. So those are some of my predictions and wishes. What about you guys and girls? Did I miss anything? Leave a comment below. And if you want to find out what I think about Nintendo or everyone else, then hit the subscribe button and leave a wee like. Well, would you? And leave a like. I like me. Until then, guys, I'm Mike. This is Mike's Mike. Catch you all later.